Hey guys, Gabriel Ansley Herb here. And a few weeks ago, I made a confirmation video about my local fire department being station number 28. And so this video, I'm going to give you additional information about that confirmation. So if you haven't watched that confirmation video, I'm not sure this video is going to mean much to you. So that video was entitled, Will Jesus Return in 2028? The Confirmations. And I'll catch you up just briefly on it. In that video, you know, I reveal, or I tell you that I wrote the book, Undeniable Biblical Proof, Jesus Christ Will Return to Planet Earth Exactly 2,000 Years After the Year of His Death. And in that book, I deliver the prophetic message that Christ is going to return in the year 2028, and that when He returns, the entire surface of planet Earth will burn with fire. So watch that video. You can catch up on all that. I even give examples in the book of what I wrote back in 2008. And so on March 4th, 2020, just a few months ago, my wife looked over when we were sitting at an intersection where the fire station sits here in our local town of Donaldson, and she saw that it said engine number 28 or station number 28. And so I went home and, you know, I mean, I was blown away. My mind was just swimming like, I'm preaching fire 2028, and my local fire department is number 28. Mind-blowing. I mean, my mind was blown. And in that video, you'll hear me say, how can I have been here in Donaldson for 20 years and not know that my local fire department is station number 28? In fact, I might even play that for you right now. I'm going to play it for you. Listen to what I said in the video. How could I have lived here in Donaldson for 20 years, writing what I wrote in the book, FIRE 2028, and never knew my fire department is Station 28? Mind-blowing. So there you go. So you heard me clearly say, how can I have lived here for 20 years? Here's where we're going, folks. Have I lived here for 20 years, a full 20 years, and then I find out the 28 on my local fire station? Because if so, that's another 20, 28. Do you understand? In other words, the numbers are connected. In other words, God keeps me, the prophet Gabriel, living in this town for exactly 20 years, the town of Donaldson, and then he tells me about Donaldson's fire station being number 28. That's 2028. This never entered my mind, guys, because like I said, I was so blown away by the fact that my fire station was number 28. And then I went home and learned that there's 41 fire stations, you know, making up all of Nashville's fire department. And how is it possible that I live in town with station number 28? <laughs> Preaching fire 2028. So, you know, like I said, I was blown away by that for three months. And it was just a few weeks ago that it came into my mind. It was God, you know, like impressing upon me, Gabe, don't you see what I did? You really have been in Donaldson for 20 years. And then I told you about the 28. So now I thought about that and like, see, I didn't really know when I moved here, guys. It's like, it could have been summer. I knew it was around the year 2000 sometime, or in the year 2000, but it could have been summer 2000. It could have been June or July of the year 2000. So if that was the case, then I wouldn't have been here 20 years until June or July of 2020, this year. In other words, I wouldn't have been here 20 years. I've been here 19 years. So remember, we looked over and saw the number on March 4th of this year, 2020. So I would have had to have moved here sometime before March 4th, the year 2000. So then it came into my mind, it was like, well, how am I going to know that? How would I know when exactly I moved here? I mean, who keeps records like that? And so it came into my mind, my filing cabinet. I got a folder, that's my landlord folder. 
It's about my landlord and his phone numbers and whatever. And it hit me that if it's at all possible that I'm going to know exactly when I moved here to Donaldson, it's going to be in that folder. And if it isn't, I'm not going to know. <laughs> you know, it's sometime in the year 2000. And that's why, like I said in the video, you know, I'm saying, you know, how can I have been here for 20 years? And what I'm really meaning is, you know, I know I'm dancing all over top of basically 20 years I've been here, but I wasn't really knowing for sure that I'd been here for 20 years. So I go to my filing cabinet, get it out, and guys, you're not going to believe what I found. I probably haven't been in that folder for over a decade. I don't know. Had no clue these things were in there. The first thing I see is that I actually cut out the newspaper clipping of the ad, the apartment ad, when I moved here. <laughs> this blew me away, guys. So you can see it right here. It says Donaldson, near the blind school, one bedroom, large yard with hookups, four twenty-five a month, four twenty-five deposit. And there was the phone number, eight seven one four eight zero three. I think what I did, I, I taped this to this piece of paper because I wanted to write down the person's name when I called the number, and it was Henry Weinkoff. And then, guys, I looked, and there was the original lease from Henry Weinkoff. I couldn't believe it. And there was the dates. You can see the lease right here. The lease was made out on the 25th day of January 2000. And I, I'm going to block out the, the address, the exact address, because you guys don't need to know where I live. But uh, the, the lease was made out for one year to begin on the first day of February 2000 and end on the 31st day of January 2001. You see there, he messed up three things there. He spelled the word January wrong. He put 30 days in January when there's really 31 days, and it's like he put the year 2000 but he meant 2001. The lease was to run from the 1st of February 2000 to the 31st of January 2001. It's a one-year lease. Guys, you got to be kidding me. I moved to Donaldson February 1st, 2000. 20 years later is February 1st, 2020. One month later, on March 4th, 2020, my wife looks over and sees the 28 on the fire station. You have got to be kidding me, guys. Look, there's two verses I want you guys to know, man. There's a verse about the Messiah that says, When the fullness of time had come, God sent forth His Son into the world. What? When the fullness of the time had come, then God sent His Son into the world? Guys, if you'd watch our 2028 end seminar, our 10-part seminar, you would know that it was absolutely planned of God from creation that the Messiah had to be here on earth ready to die year 4000. It was all timed. Well, likewise, God kept me in this town for 20 years, exactly. I won't be here till 21 years until February 1st of 2021. I'm here 20 years, even now. And that's when God then tells me about the 28 on the fire station. It's another 2028, guys. This is mind-blowing. It's like God controlled all of these things. It's blowing my mind. So I wanted you guys to know, but anyway, there's another verse in the Bible that says this. It is the glory of the Lord to conceal a matter. Uh, to hide something from you. It's the glory of the Lord to hide from me for 20 years that my local fire station is number 28. I was never going to see it. In fact, you guys want to know something? I actually talked to my one neighbor... She's lived here for like 40-some years. And I asked her, I said, do you know what Donaldson's fire station number is? Guys, she had no clue. She shrugged her shoulder, no. So think about that, guys. It's not even the fact that God just hid this for 20 years. If I, 
Who's going to know that? Who's ever going to know that what your fire station number is? I mean, I, I grew up in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. We didn't have a fire station number. It was just Florin Fire Company, you know, and I moved here. It's like I'm not even realizing these fire stations have numbers and that Nashville Fire Department has 41 different stations. I don't know nothing about that. I'm not involved with the fire department. So do you see, guys, why do I even know at all? that my fire station is number 28. Why aren't I like my neighbor and lived here for 40 years and I still don't know that it's fire station 28? Or otherwise, why am I not here some other number? Why have I not been here, you know, 16 years and now I just found out it's fire station 28? Or 22 years, or 24, or 13, or 18, what, anything but exactly 20 years, and now I find out it's Fire Station 28. Guys, if you can't see this, you just can't see it. You can't see what God's doing. But there's one more thing on top of all of this that God told me. Not only have I been here 20 years, but I've been here from the year 2000, which is the year double zero counting up to the year 2020, this year, which is the year 20. Uh, guys, do you see it? This is only possible at the beginning of a century. Only every century, every 100 years, do you have a chance that I would have just moved at the beginning of a century, which happened to be the beginning of a millennium, the year 2000. But it would have worked from the years 1900 to the year 1920. In other words, the actual year is 20 when I find out my fire station is 28. Do you follow me? I mean, I, why wasn't I here from the years 1996 to 2016? You know, and that had been 20 years. But then it would have been the year 16 when I find out. No. No, guys, he literally was counting the years from the beginning of the millennium. I moved me here, you know, the first month, one month into the millennium. I'm here, February 1st, 2000. Double zero, year zero, zero. Counting up the years to the year 20, till I've been here exactly 20 years, and then let my wife look over and notice. I mean, she doesn't even know why she looked over. Who's looking over and seeing that little tiny sign on the fire station wall that it's station 28? I mean, it's, it's unheard of. Like I said, my neighbor's been back here 40 years. If I ask everybody else in this neighborhood, I bet most people would have no clue that we live in the town with fire station number 28. It's a miracle, guys. This confirmation is a miracle. In the year 2020, Having lived here for 20 years, the year 20, I find out 28. Fire station, Donaldson. 2028. And it's mind blowing that God kept me here for exactly 20 years. It's like when the fullness of time had come, then God was going to tell me about the 28. And that is another 2028. Live in Donaldson, Prophet Gabriel, for 20 years, and then I'll tell you about Donaldson's Fire Station 28. Confirmation of your message, the message I gave you to write in the book back in 2008, that my son Jesus Christ is going to return to this earth in flaming fire in the year 2028. Oh, and one last thing I want to tell you. The truth is, as I moved to Nashville area late in the year 1996, it was like December of 1996, from Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, where I was born and raised. And I moved to the town of Hermitage, which is actually the next town over, which, by the way, has fire station number 32. I looked it up. And I lived there in an apartment complex for a little over three years. And what happened is in that apartment complex, my car in the parking lot got broken into three times. One time it was a busted windshield and my 
my, you know, I had a Panasonic radio. It wasn't much of nothing, but they were trying to jimmy the radio out of my dashboard. The last time I, I came out to go to work and my front bumper was completely on the ground. I was just like, what's going on, man? I walked into the management. This has been the third time now my car has been busted into, broken into. I couldn't take it no more. And so it was put into my mind, man, you got to move. And, and it was also put into my mind, I want to rent from a private landlord. I don't want to rent from an apartment complex anymore where my car sits out there and people are milling about your car all night long. You know, and trouble can happen. So in my mind, I mean, I was, look, I got whatever. I don't know what paper this ad was from, but I found, you know, here it was. Donald says the first one I looked at, man. Just, I circled it and like, and I came over here at nighttime. Well, obviously it was January. I mean, it's dark by like 4.30 in the afternoon. I remember looking in there with Henry, Henry Weinkoff, and uh, I was like, yep, I'll, I'll take it. You know, I just, dude, I was desperate. I just wanted to get out from where I was living. And so that's how I wound up in Donaldson, February 1st, 2000. You guys think that was God that allowed those things to happen to me in that other town so that it forced me to move? I know it was, guys. I wouldn't have moved. I don't like moving. I would have stayed in that apartment I was in. I was fine living there. It was a nice little place. But after three times of my car getting broke into, that was it. I had enough, and I was getting out of there. And it just so happened to be right there around the start of the, you know, the year 2000. And so by February 1st, I was moving into that place right here in Donaldson. Mind-blowing. Guys, God is controlling everything. You guys need to understand. And the things that are about to happen the next eight, eight years, a little over eight years, God's doing it. He's setting it up. He's setting up his end game. The prophecies that he made in the Bible, they must be fulfilled. Christ died year 4,000 and he must return year 6,000. Watch our 2028 end series, our 10 part video series. You'll understand. And so that's it. That's the full story. Now you guys know everything about this confirmation of my fire station being number 28 in this little town of Donaldson that God moved me into in the year February 1st, 2000. It's all mind-blowing.